How's everybody doing? Um, sitting out on my back porch and uh, I wanted to make this video and it's a request from uh, a woman that uh, watched some of my videos and uh, she shot me an email and asked me to talk about this subject um, with interracial uh, dating and marriage and uh, I wrote down what she had uh, said and I'll kind of go over it and uh, put um, my perspective on it and what I think and uh, maybe share some experiences that I've had. Um, she, what she writes is, uh, I got it written down so I don't forget. She says that, I love watching your videos. I am a 23 year old black woman and uh, I'm dating a white man that I've been dating for a number of years we actually went to high school together and uh, he just proposed to me we plan on getting married and the question I have for you and I'd like you to make a video on it and explain it is uh, does it get any better does uh, once uh, we're married what we see less of uh, people that have a problem with it I, I know I will see some problems um, but does it get better? Do you get used to it? Um, I know it'll be tough, but, uh, me and him love each other. We're going to stick it out. And this is what we wanted. I just don't understand why people in my race and other races have a problem with me and who I want to be with. And like you said, with me, it's mostly people that don't even know me. Although I do have some family members that have tried to discourage me in, in this marriage. But this is what I want and uh, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, thank you and God bless. Um, what I would say is uh, anytime you get in an interracial uh, relationship, dating, marriage, there's always people that don't like it, of course. And uh, there's always racism, too. Um, and the biggest enemy with interracial relationships, i.e. dating or marriage, is uh, what I call the modern-day segre segregationist. Okay, It's not like it was where we're separated and you know can only eat at certain places or use certain bathrooms or that kind of stuff it's uh they want to be separated when it comes to marriage when it comes to families and there's still people that still want a neighborhood with people that are just like them and their racial group um, and those people don't like interracial relationships and some of them believe that if you procreate with someone with another race they believe that you're killing your race. And I, I've been told this by a couple people that disagree with my marriage that are believe in being separate. And they actually believe I'm killing my race because I procreate did with a black woman. And uh, you just go and deal with that, have to deal with that. Um, there, yeah, there are going to be some tough times, but if you love each other, you'll get through. You'll get through it. Um, if I can get through it, me and my wife back in our day, you can too. In fact, the good news is it's getting easier. It, you're seeing more interracial dating and marriage, and uh, it's becoming more of a norm. I mean, it's still a smaller portion of people that do it, but it's getting bigger all the time, and. Uh, black women with white men it's growing increasingly every day and uh, the reason is people are getting to know each other finding out that the stereotypes and uh, the generalities that we've been told a lot of its BS a lot of its stuff to make another group of people look bad um, but I would say to you if that's who you love and you want to marry, do it. Um, you know, just be strong. And, uh, you know, me and my wife been through some things. And uh, 
you know, what people think about our marriage or what even they say, um, it don't have an impact because we love each other more than that. And uh, you can get through it. And now it's getting even easier. I mean, people ain't so against it or aren't so vocal against it. I mean, you're still going to find those people that are. But uh, stay strong. Um, you know, just people got different beliefs. And then, you know, there are some that say we shouldn't procreate because white people will disappear or black people will disappear. And I've heard it from both ends. And to me, that's silly. Um, and, and I love black people and I love white people. Um, I don't want to see them disappear. But the thing of it is, is my family line. I don't care what my... Uh, Grand, grandkids, great grandkids, on down the line, what they look like, what skin tone. I really don't care. All I care is that they're good people and they're successful and they do the right thing. And, uh, you know, I, I don't even think about stuff like that. Well, what we're going to look at, look like later on. Um, you know, to me, people are people no matter what we look like and uh but anyway thanks for you know sending me that email and uh i'm gonna leave you anonymous because you didn't say you wanted me to tell who you were and but uh i just want to say that anybody that wants me to make a video um and you want me to tell who you are and who sent the me the info to make the video I will do that but I won't do it unless you tell me to um, but I would just like to say to this young 23 year old lady just stay strong remember your loves more powerful than the hate that they may put against you and yes it, it's gotten easier to date interracial and it's going to get even easier because more people are doing it um, but you're still going to have racism you're still going to have haters you're still going to have family members that are against it. Um, you know, they're just... People are... Some people just set in their ways. But, uh, you know, just know you love that person. And what I would say, too, and I I don't mean this to sound bad, but uh, looking back, I, in a way, I'm grateful that me and my wife went through that, the trouble and some of the hate that we experienced it because it just you know it just proved our love for each other it just validated the love we have and uh it's made us stronger and uh seeing the other person stand up for each other is just so uplifting and so awesome um and i like to tell people that you know you want to date interracial do it you know, but make sure you're all in. Make sure you love that person more than life itself and above society and family, and uh, you're going to be fine. Um, the people that have trouble are, in my opinion, not, not in it all together, 100%. So, but you'll be fine. Um, you know, just remember you love each other, and there's going to be tough times. Any marriage, you're going to have tough times. I don't care if you're same race, different race whatever you are wherever you come from whatever economic background you come from if you're you know from the inner city the trailer park the the suburbs um you know upper rich millionaire neighborhoods we all have problems we all have our issues we all have our faults and uh you know just be strong and you know, I'm going to say a prayer for you. I don't, I don't know you, but, uh, you know, I like to hear stories like this that, you know, people getting together of different races and they can love each other even though they're different. And, uh, you know, I've had a blessed marriage and uh, I'm grateful for what I have. And I'm glad I didn't listen to people and take their advice and just stay with my own kind because I, I found the best wife in the world I mean a wife that's just worth more than any treasure in the world and uh, I, I thank God for her every day I really do and um, you know 
But like I said, be strong. You know, take care of each other, you know, and uh, you'll get through it. And uh, you'll look back and, you know, you just see how much you really do love each other. And it, it's a it's a beautiful thing. And I look back and I'm like, wow, I don't I don't deserve one tenth of the wife that I have. But thank God God's a loving God and he he blessed me. Um, but anyway, just stay strong. Um, what I want to say before I close this video is, uh, my, uh, Sunday live show. I want to have, uh, a panel of people. I want to have it at least, uh, three or four people come on with me and have a discussion. And, uh, what we'll talk about is, uh, dating gurus and what kind of toxic stuff they they're passing along and uh kind of our opinions i'm not going to focus on i know everybody thinks i'm focusing on ks um but it, it's not just him it's it, it's all of them and we can i just want to have a discussion about that and uh, i know a number of people tell me they want me to do a video on him and uh I, I have done a couple on my opinion and uh, his following is so strong I get a lot of hate a lot of trolls and stuff that's fine I don't care I mean it is what it is but uh you know I I like to talk about that and I talk like to talk about um you know the value of women you know um, talk about the value of black women and uh, but anyway I want to have more people on the show than just the one-on-one -on -one. I want to have a panel we could call it the round table where we get in and we talk about it and tell our opinion whether you think these dating gurus are actually a benefit or not so much or you can't stand them um, or how you think that women should be treated and we go all into that and uh, that'd be real interesting to talk about something I think everybody can get uh, into and uh, I'd love to talk about it I'd love to have a, a group uh, live I think that would be so awesome and uh, if you're interested shoot me an email um, I already got one that uh, shot me an email and if you are shoot me an email uh, make sure you have StreamYard, and then that's how I'll pull you on um, when right before I go live I'll send you the link and then we'll we'll pull up and if you want to do the video like I'm doing where you you, you you can see what you look like or you want to do they have a deal you could do a picture and do it that way either way but uh, I want to I want to do that and I'd like to welcome any of you that want to come on and uh, I think it'd be fun it, it will be something they something different you know and I, I want to make this channel different uh, I, I know I'm going to talk about interracial relationships dating and marriage but uh i like to talk about other stuff too and uh you know i'd like to get a panel on and uh i want to hear from you and uh you know it might you know do some lives with me might give you an idea if you start a channel or whatever and uh i just think it'd be awesome and i'm going live sunday 5 p.m mountain same time as i did uh this Sunday is a great show with Miss Patrice. I do appreciate her coming on. Really interesting and uh, had a good time. And, uh, you know, I just, and then later on, once I get my computer, I'm waiting for my computer. Gosh, I don't know what it is with electronics right now, but uh, once I get that, I'm going to set it up for call in shows. And that'll be fun too, where you can just get on the phone and call me. And we could have a discussion that way too. And, uh, you know, just come on, watch, and uh, we'll have a good time. And uh, anyway, um, if anybody has a problem with my videos, feel free to shoot me an email, talk to me. Um, had a discussion with one of my uh, uh, subscribers, and it got kind of heated when I, and I wish it wouldn't have. But when I talk about the Army and my experiences, I get emotional. And, you know, I kind of lashed out at this person. But 
I just want her to know, hey, you know, I, I have big love for you. And you can believe what you want, that's fine. And you're still welcome on my show. You know, big love to you. And, uh, you know, I, I like to fight. I, well, I don't like to fight, but if I do, I like to do it in an email so no one, no one else sees it. And, uh, you know. But anyway, um, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Um, you're the reason I do this. You motivate me. And, uh, oh, another thing. I'm going to have a contest. I, I'm going to put some questions out and uh, here in a couple days. And what you can do is uh, email me the answers. And uh, whoever gets the answers right, I'm going to uh, send you a list. And there can only be one winner. But I'm going to send you a list of the hockey jerseys that I've collected. And I'm still collecting them. Of the teams you like. And I'm going to send you one as an appreciation for watching me. Now, there's no strings attached. You don't have to watch my videos. You don't have to do... You don't have to subscribe. All you got to do is just shoot me an email with the answers. And, uh, you know, if there's multiple people that get all the right answers, we'll have, like, a... Uh, another set of questions till totally we narrow it down to one person but uh you know come in and uh participate in that that'd be fun and anyway thank you for watching my videos thank you for your input thank you for taking the time i'm really blessed to have you watching me and i'm grateful and have a good rest of your day and god bless